Hey guys, it's Coded Steel, and welcome to your seventh tutorial in the C programming language. Guys, I'm pretty excited because this is a pretty cool tutorial that I'm about to go through. If I have time, we're going to go through the for loop, which is a pretty important control statement. And then I'm going to show you something called the ASCII table, which is built into this compiler. So, first of all, let's get into the for loop. So, first of all, you type the word for and you put these parentheses. So first of all, what a for loop is, is it's a special control statement that is going to run through a loop of code as long as the conditions inside of the, of the parameter are met. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to declare a variable i and set it equal to zero. And then I'm going to specify the condition that I want i to continue to run for. So I'm going to select 100 less than or equal to 100 and then this is another thing this is called incrementation so it's another thing we should have discussed incrementation basically I plus plus there means add one to I so I should have taught you guys that um, later on I'll teach that to you guys again right now just follow what I'm doing um, and then I'm going to do a print F statement and inside of the parameters for the print F statement I'm going to put the percent D which tells C to format the variable that I'm going to choose as a, de as a decimal number 0 through 9 or whatever and then I'm going to type the letter I which is the name of the variable that we want to display on the screen so basically as I was saying this loop will run through and it will print I 100 times. It should actually 101 because it's going to also print 0. So it'll loop through this thing 101 times and then it will close. So this is different from the if loop because the if loop would only execute one time. The for loop will execute as long as this condition is true. So let me show you guys what this code does. and as you can see we get every number from 0 through 100 it's a little bit of an eyesore to look at because it's all printing continuously so let's fix that we're actually going to go ahead and put a new line character this is another thing I didn't teach you guys so actually what this does is after it prints and I'm gonna put it back here after it turns around and it prints our first number, it's going to go to the new line. That's what that is. It's, an, it's called an escape character, and there's all kinds of different ones. There's backslash T, backslash N, and there's a few other ones that we'll discuss in later tutorials. But right now, know that the backslash N is how you go to a new line. So now we'll display that code again out for you guys. And it can't show all of the numbers I guess in one thing since my window is so small I'll have to fix that later but if I guys scroll through guys you see the numbers 0 through 100 are printed here so that is what a for loop will do it will loop through the code and print everything from 0 through 100 and it will loop through this code as long as this condition is true. So it's the same thing with the if statement I told you guys before. C tests this condition every time. And if it returns a 1, so if that whole block is equal to 1 inside of the parameters here, it'll continue to execute. And once it returns a 0, it's going to exit this and it's going to get our get our do our get character function, which is our way of pausing the screen. So that is base, the basics of a basic for loop. We're going to build some more advanced ones later on, but right now I, got, I just want to familiarize you guys with it. But the last thing we're going to do in this tutorial, and I'm, I'm glad we have time, this is actually pretty cool, um, is the ASCII table. Now I don't know how many other guys actually cover this stuff, but I think this is pretty important, and this is how I do some of my more fancy codes that I write when I write them. So we're going to declare a char, which is a variable that I discussed with you guys. should be like last tutorial, the tutorial before that. And the char is going to be x, and it's going to be equal to the 
we're going to say well, we're gonna we're just gonna declare a char for now actually that's what we're gonna do sorry guys okay so then we're going to take and set a char our char equal to our integer which is kind of odd isn't it I mean you guys probably don't remember me ever assigning a number to an integer you guys probably remember me doing something like this setting it equal to a letter well setting it equal to a number um basically uh it's kind of hard to explain i'm gonna have to show you guys what i what i mean so let me show you all right there we go this is what i wanted to show you guys so if you take a look here hmm hold on a sec guys I apologize for that guys I made a very stupid mistake and I forgot to put my X here I put the percent C but I didn't put the variable X in here telling C that I want this percent C to correspond to this X so that was my bad guys I apologize for that but now if you take a look at this I don't know if you guys heard you should have heard a, t a tone that tone is actually equal to one of these variables on this ASCII table that we have here and it's really hard. I this kind of irritates me. I wish I could show you guys the whole screen at, at once. But um, if you look through, you can see that some of these characters are blank, and that's just the way it, it it works. I don't know why some of them are blank, some of them aren't. But you can see there's a lot of really interesting symbols. One corresponds to the smiley face. Two corresponds to the solid smiley face three is a heart blah 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 so it looks like it has all the stuff to like to make cards so you guys can make like a, a card game or something on here um, in, in DOS the in the DOS window when uh, we get a little bit more advanced you guys could do something like that but you guys see there's the dollar sign the pound sign all of the stuff inside of this table look at that capital A B C D all the way down now you guys might be wondering why that is. Now it stops here at 97, which is A. So the reason, and it actually goes much further. I'm, I should have actually done this from the beginning. It actually goes to 255. So let me show all of these symbols. There's a lot of them, guys. There's a ton of them. But basically, you see A is equal to 97 right here. So what I'm trying to point out is this. When we assign a char a number and we format it as a character with the percent %c, that number gets converted via this table to a character. So if I set x equal to 97, I got to prove you get this uh, to show you guys this. If I set this x equal to 97, it would be the same as setting it equal to A. And if you don't believe me, guys, which I'm sure there are going to be some of you out there, let me show you that I'm telling you the truth. And we, there we go. And get rid of that I so you don't get an error. And compile and run. Look at that, an A. pretty cool huh so now it's the same thing I can do this set it equal to a and it should do the same thing as it did when I set it equal to 97 there you guys go it's an a so although it may be seem odd like I said when I assign it a care a night a number it's the same as assigning it a because it corresponds to a number between 0 and 255 so Basically, that, guys, is the ASCII table and how to do a simple for loop. Um, we will be using both of those concepts, the control statement, the for loop, and the um, ASCII tables later on when we make some of our more complex codes. It's actually a handy way of looping through and printing a bunch of letters at one time instead of having to go through and set a car equal to a character multiple times. Well, anyway, that's all I have time for, guys. I will see you in the next tutorial.